In the second chapter of 1 Thessalonians, Paul was encouraging the Christians in one of Greece's largest cities to grow in godliness. See, Paul knew the people he was writing to. So recognizing their immaturity of faith, Paul wants to grow them up and protect them against the opposition and the wrong teaching that was so rampant in that city. He wants them to mature quickly so they'll be able to stand against the resistance and challenges of false teachers. And as a contrast, Paul reminds them how the gospel was presented to them without any use of deceit or impure motives or trickery, not seeking money or praise. And that even though Paul had the authority to make demands of the young church, he approached them instead with humility, tenderness, and compassion. Paul explains it in a way we can all relate to beginning in verse 7. As apostles of Christ, he said, we certainly had the right to make some demands of you, but instead we were like children among you, or we were like a mother feeding and caring for her own children. We loved you so much that we shared with you not only God's good news, but our own lives too. And in verse 11, and you know that we treated each of you as a father treats his own children. We pleaded with you, encouraged you, and urged you to live your lives in a way that God would consider worthy. For he called you to share in his kingdom and his glory. Paul wanted to produce strong, mature believers that could stand against adversity quickly. And he could have used his authority in the church his superior knowledge of scripture, or his wealth of experience to do so. But instead, Paul came with the humility of a child, the tenderness of a mother feeding her newborn babe, and the compassion a father has with his own son. Did the method work? Well, you be the judge yourself. Paul concludes this chapter saying, you accepted what we said as the very word of God, which of course it is. And this word continues to work in you who believe. Now, you've heard the word today. I know you believe it. So let the word of God work in you. Mm -hmm.